Question three says, if H was the next manuscript written after M, now that's a new rule, uh, it connects to one of the old rules, so before I even look at what the question is actually answering, all I'm going to do is apply this new rule in the context of the old rules. Um, H is immediately after M, well that looks like this, this is for question number three only, doesn't apply to later questions. Uh, if M is immediately before H, then it's F before MH, and that is always going to be before S. So I would have had this diagram on my page before I even looked at what the question was asking. Matter of fact, I would have gone to the very next step, which is, remember M is really restricted. M can't go anywhere in the last four spots. So if M has to go um, before H and S, then I really only see two different ways to do it, right? M, M now can't go first because of F, so M will either go second or third, and it'll only take me a second to just actually write both of those scenarios out. If M is in the second spot, then F is first. If M is in the third spot, then F will go first or second. And with these two templates, now I'll look at what the question is asking. Which one of the following could be true? A says, could F be written second? I, I think so. Um, let me think about it. If F went there, the question is, who would go first? I know L can't go first. I know G and P wouldn't be available because they have to touch. Is there somebody else that's left? Oh, S can't go first. Wait a minute now. If M is, um, sorry. Could F be second? If F was second, is there somebody left to go here? Well, we have G, P, and L, and S in these three spots, so no, that actually won't work. The answer for number three is not A. F cannot be written second. So I would actually change this diagram uh, because I know that whether M goes second or third, F is always going to go first. F cannot go second in this scenario. Uh, how about B? Could G be third? Now, the third spot's always going to be either H or M, so no, G can't be third. Could H be written fourth? I think so. I think this will work. I think there's probably somebody who could go here. Um, although it's not L, it's not S, and it's not G, and it's not P. So you know what? Actually, this whole scenario doesn't work, so I can just go ahead and cross that out. And the answer for number three uh, is not C. H can't be written forth. It has to be like this. That's the only way that H can be immediately after M is like this. Could P be written third? No, H is going to be third. Could S be written fourth? I sure think so. The only rule about S is that it has to go after F, M, and H. My answer for uh, number three is E.